Hi guys, Shadow6 here. Welcome back to another episode of the Mods of the Zone. We're onto a new mod now, and I've chosen Old Good Stalker Evolution for Shadow of Chernobyl. Thought I'd go with another um, Shadow of Chernobyl mod, because I think I've spent a bit too much time on the Call of Pripyat, which is, I guess, my preferred game out of all of them. But I thought I'd even out the balance a bit and go with this one. I've had a few recommendations for this one, so I thought I'd give it a try, and we'll see how we go. I must say, I like the animations that we have here on the screen here, just for the little car there. Now, I printed out a booklet for this. The readme is quite large, so obviously I'm not going to banter on and read the whole thing to you. But from what I understand, they've changed the game a bit. I know it's based on Shadow of Chernobyl, from what I understand, but a f few storyline changes, a few different missions to do, etc., etc. Alrighty, we'll get this going. Короче, мечены, я тебя спас, и в благородство играть не буду. Выполнишь для меня пару заданий, и мы в расчете. Заодно посмотрим, как быстро у тебя башка после амнезии прояснится. А по твоей теме постараюсь разузнать. Хрен его знает, на кой ляд тебе этот стрелок сдался. Но я в чужие дела не лезу. Хочешь убить, значит есть за что. I have no idea what Sidorovich just said, because I cannot understand Russian as you guys know. Подходи, я не кусаюсь. Yeah. I still can't understand you. Anyway. I'm assuming it's the English dialogue that I normally get in the normal game, so I have a rough idea. But anyway, here we are in the game, usual starting point. Got to talk to Sidorovich. Before we do all that, we'll do our usual check of everything. <coughs> now, as you may notice, I installed a little extra mod on top of the uh, OGSE. And apparently it's the Call of Pripyat Inventory, and it, I must say it actually does look like it, so there we go, it has worked. Okay, we've got a dosi meter. Okay, cool. And a sleeping bag and a harmonica. We've got nothing else. And obviously it looks like a basic suit there. Okay, we've got our PDA. That looks similar, somewhat different. Alrighty guys, we'll talk to Sidorovich, because obviously we can't go anywhere unless we do. The choice is yours. Neither I brainwash you oh. like I usually do with all the rookies. He speaks English for me now. Like okay, so this is the start. Alrighty, we got a walkie-talkie. First task is to obtain a stone blood artifact. Well, there we go, there we go, guys. That's something different. We start off with a different mission. Not the usual go um, help out. Oh, God knows. I can't remember what his name is. I have not played Shadow of Shinobu in a while, so I'm going to be rusty, and I know some of you guys are going to pick at me for things I've missed. I, I know, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but Omar, is it? Omar Piavani? I'm, I do apologise if I've got that wrong, but he likes to... You know, I know I, I take it as a fun way, it's all good, but criticize some of the bad things I do. And I admit, you know, this is you know, this is my style of stalker, I guess. Each person's different, each person plays stalker differently. Oh we got a bit of music here. But yeah, all good. So we'll get a move on here, I'm just babbling on. Uh I better read this. What do we got? The coordinates we've sent together with some of the info on the mincer meat anomaly. By the way, you're not welcome to village, I don't trust you, neither do I. That's nice, no one likes me. What have we got to trade? Oh, he's got everything. I must admit, I do like this inventory look. Oh, well, I've got no money anyway. I can't buy anything. Straight off, it does look much better. The detail here looks much better. And it's raining, and it's dull. Oh, there's a guy here. Okay, what does this guy want? Sergei Stalin. Good to see you. Rumours that you were brought from the death truck. You don't look too bad, though. Oh, thank you very much. Well, yes, I've got nothing to say. That I was damn lucky. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read all that out to you guys. And we got dialogue. There is dialogue like anything. Okay, he's a security guard for Sidorovich. Blah, blah, blah. Long time. Oh, yeah. You guys feel free to read. I'll have a quick skim read. Alrighty. Okay, so you just realize that the yarn with you, nothing there. Um, where do we go? Uh, where do we go? Now, he said to stay away from the village, so we won't go there, but let's check out PDA. Where do we have to go? Stone Blood Artifact. Okay, I have no idea. Let's just mosey around here. Do we have a night vision? Light. Okay, we got a light. That's awesome. Actually, what I'll do first, do what I do every time I play Shadow of Chernobyl. I'm going to go check out these rooms. Okay. Oh, but... Okay, I got a bolt. 
No, I've got no knife. I've got nothing at all. I'll belt this box open with a harmonica. Okay, looks like I can't do much at all until I get some sort of weapon. Or a knife, even. Okay, this guy says not to speak to me. Let's see. Well, well, you are. What kind of idiot? Chat with a former passenger of a death truck. First you gotta prove you're okay. <laughs> let's, be, let's try a bit of sarcasm here. Yeah, anyway. Okay, he's not friendly. There's a car here. Oh, what, what? Are you kidding me? We can drive cars? Oh, awesome. Just let me climb over it. Trunk. Tab. Oh, that is awesome. I should have read that read me a bit better. Probably does tell me in there. Maybe did, I can't remember. It was a few days ago that I read that. But we can drive vehicles, people. I have not driven vehicles in a stalker game before. I know there's been, I've played mods where I've been able to, but it didn't really work too well. Uh, open the door. Well, let me in then. <laughs> Maybe this side. Ah, there we go. Oh, check this out. Um, how do we start it? This bit might be boring for you guys, but for me it's exciting. I've never been in a car in the zone before. And I have no idea how to start it. E? Nothing. Spacebar. Enter. Okay, I have no idea how to run these things. Q. Come on, it can't be that hard. Enter. Caps lock. One? Okay, this is just silly. How do I get out again? Oh, oh here we go. Transport. Okay, so here's all the information about the different cars. Oh, there's a buggy in it. How awesome. How about telling me how to drive a car? It won't tell me how to drive a car. Alrighty, guys. I had no idea how to get out of this car, so I just had to start the game again. <laughs> that is so pathetic, but instructions aren't very clear. It says open the door and open the trunk. That is pretty bad. I had no idea. I was pressing every key on my keyboard to get this thing to run or even get out of the bloody thing, and I had no idea, so I just had to start again. So, note to self, I'm not going to go near cars until I know how to drive the bloody things. Oh, shit. Dumbass me didn't realise that these guys don't like me. I was wondering who they were firing at at first. Anyway. Okay, here I am at the start of the game. Saying that I'm going to stay away from the village, don't disturb them, they don't want to see me. And what do I do? I go walk straight in there and they'll start firing at me. Not paying attention at all. Now, I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I've got no weaponry, no nothing, and they want me just to wander out in the zone and look for some artifact. Which doesn't want to come up at all. I'll find it eventually. I'll cut out whatever boring bit happens while I try to find it. It's so dark. And this light is okay at small distances. So there we go, guys. When you play this mo Oh, what's this? Maybe it's in here. But anyway, when you play this mod, you start off with nothing. You get a bolt. You know, it's probably something simple like it's in here. We'll go in here. Just think about it. Man. Oh. Next time it could be you in this place. Oh. Anyhow, be extremely careful near anomalies. As soon as you hear the detector beeping, grab the bolts and toss them in front of you. I have no idea if the helicopter's gonna fire at me. Okay, there's some sort of hint that you meant to come in here. Now. Oh, there it is there. Probably r right there. And I've got no detector anyway. Um, where do we go? I better just quick save actually. There we go. Up there. Up there. Geez, this place is layered with them. One thing I must notice is that all these... What the hell? 
Um, all these notifications or comments I'm getting at the side here, I have no idea what they're about. I don't think they're aimed at me, it's probably just reading. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, hold on, right there. That right there. Okay, not this way. This helicopter's going nuts. I have no idea what he's doing. Still well and good having a crate there, but I can't do anything. Okay, tree safe. Look at all these crates. Are Play with the artifact, just drop it by later, rush to the trailer by the road, some still potentially need help. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a side mission here. And how the hell do I get out of here? Let me out. Let me out. How the hell am I meant to get out of here? Well, maybe over there. Yeah, don't worry guys, I'll eventually get there. Okay, this is the way out. No, 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 you idiot. Yeah, okay, just die, whatever. I've got no med packs or anything. This zone is harsh. But okay, they said they... <laughs> probably stuffed this up anyway because I took too long, but apparently you got to help the guys over here. They fired at a helicopter or something, the message said. Oh, take all. Hello there. Uh, thank you, Mark One. You're okay, you know that? Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, sure no tell everyone at the camp that you helped me out. How about getting me a gun? Uh, there you go. Oh, God. I hope these animals don't come over, the creatures don't come over. Okay, there's so much dialogue there. I'll have a quick skim read again. Okay, he's so obviously going to do a mission for this guy. Okay, we've got to give him a bottle of vodka. Which he already has anyway. Wow, that's some craziness going on over there. You normally a kick in their ass. Anyway. Dawdle dawdle. Awesome, got a weapon. Oh, gun and a little bit of ammunition. Cool. Well, that's better than nothing. What else have I got? A grenade. A flare grenade. Fair enough, I have no idea what that does. We'll have a read. Oh, eliminating dark areas. There you go. Potatoes. That's pretty cool. And some food. Awesome. Nothing else in here. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's dogs. Yeah, have it, dog. Do I really have to waste my ammunition on him? There's somebody down there, though. Whatever. We'll suss it out. Okay, the dog's gone. Oh, more potatoes. Ooh. Okay, got a bit more ammunition. Awesome. I like you just walk into a crate and you get it all. Fine by me. Okay, now I'm assuming we want to go get the artifact now. Med packs would be nice. Find a bottle of vodka. Okay, well, I think there's some downstairs in the rookie village. Anyway, we'll go get this artifact. Which I am at the right place before. 
I'm just gonna find a way to get to it. So silent in the zone. I don't have a knife yet. I really thought I had a knife before. Okay, no, I don't have a knife. Um, 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 um. Oh, I need my bolt, that's what I was after. Oh, no, do not go there. Okay, people, we're getting there. Ooh, this is a touchy one. Okay, we've got it. Okay, now we're going to get out of here again. What does this thing do? Oh, look at that. Oh, plus 100 radiation. Okay, it's not a good artifact at all. I might have to return you once I get a knife or something so I can attack all that stuff. All the crates. You could have some good stuff in it. And this little one here. Anyway. It's unusually silent. No, 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 not again. I've done the same thing before. Shit. Just get out of there. No. Leave me alone, you horrible... Okay, cool. <laughs> Got out of it. I find it weird that the zone is, yeah, very quiet. Not much ambient noise. I have no idea what that sign said either. You got an ulcer. Yes, I already got torn to pieces. Um, I have no idea what that means. But I'll press it. Job for you, Mark one. Okay, now it continues on. Oh, and I got a knife. Yay! And a suit. And no money. Alrighty, guys, we've got something. Got a little gun. With a silencer. Uh, I'm not sure. I think these. Yeah, okay, these guys are going to talk to me now. Good, you're gonna fire up the place. Oh, there we go. Bottle of vodka. And that guy is right here. You. Oh, there we go. You asked me with a med kit, and now you help me with greatly. Got a great stash in the wild territory. There happened some kind of space shift and some blowout. Okay, that's all we got from him. Okay, cool, whatever. Not gonna carry on here. Nothing yet. We gotta search everywhere. Now that I have a knife. Yeah, <laughs> that was loud. Now I got a knife. I'm gonna go stash some, stab some boxes. Go to the place I didn't get to. I'm gonna search these places here. Ammunition. Okay, that was it for this one. Bear with me while I go through each of these buildings. I might even cut that out if it's not that exciting. Okay guys, so I'm up on the corner of the building here, of uh, the house, and I've shot that crate, and usually you get a suit in there, but I've got, oh there you go, a bit of food. There we go, that's how harsh the zone is now, we get nothing but food. And as I showed before, a rat carcass. What's it is that? Salted fat. No idea what that's going to be useful for, but whatever. Okay, I've done all the houses there, didn't find much interesting. So I'm going to talk to this guy now. That's pretty much the same story, so we'll know, know what goes on here. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's a bit more. About to just press through buttons and ignore it, everything. 
Okay, there's a personal job to do for him. Okay, so we have to go look for a dynamite crate. Guys, I'm sending someone your way, so wing it. You may attack if necessary. Over. Alright, Wolf, we'll send him in. As long as he stays out of the way. Out. Arugio, you brought. Okay, one thing I've noticed is that you can only hold one weapon at a time. We've got a walkie-talkie, which I have no idea what that's for. And we've got a shotgun. With 20 rounds, oh, watch out. Pellets. You're giving me pellet guns. I don't know why you can only hold one gun for, that's pretty bad. I have no idea why you can't... We, uh, have two guns on you. So everything's pretty much similar. We get the old mission added to this. As I've said before guys, let me know, have you played this mod yourself? What do you think of it? I've had this mod for a while on my computer but I've never actually played it. I had like a little quick look at it earlier just to make sure it runs, like some of the mods I play don't want to run for some reason. So I, um, yeah, have a quick test just to make sure it all works and doesn't crash for the first, you know, 10 minutes. But I didn't get this far, so this is all new. Pipe down, man. Let me fill you in. Okay. Okay. I don't think the guy liked me that I had a gun in my hand. 